I know tomorrow you'll be opening in selected cinemas and kasabay niyo po yung um, Super Mario Brothers pero talagang may laban po tayo doon ka <laughs> sa lahat ng mga effects natin. So, I think the man of the hour, um, uh, Direct Mark, uh, my question is for you. <laughs> Yes. Uh, bakit po kailangan panoorin ng mga kapataan ng Botes 5 Legacy at ano naman ang dapat na asahan ng diehard fans from the live action adaptation? Okay. Well, first of all, the challenge was it was an old anime, antiquated, you know, you could call it that. Pero uh, ever since, since 1978 here in the Philippines, all the way down to 2023, Voltus 5 has always been in the hearts of the Filipinos. Aminin natin yan, hindi na mawala yung sa karaoke, yung pagkanta ng Voltus team, at saka yung My Father, yung sa ending theme song, uh, mga political ads, mga commercials, Voltus 5 has always been around. I don't know, there was certain magic perhaps with the Voltus 5 that it has endured all these years, all these decades. Uh, pero inherently, Voltus 5 is a story of family. Okay, in so many levels to story ya. Kaya siguro, it was easy for GMA to approve the project because once they saw na, okay, it's, it was one of the first soap operas that I, I saw as a child. Because when you know the whole story, you know, uh, the betrayal of the brothers, the loss of the mother, the loss of the father, it's all soap opera. You know, it's, it's a space soap opera. Uh, and that hailed from Japan, but it was very near and dear to the hearts of the Filipinos. Kasi yan ang gusto natin eh, yung, yung natutulungan, yung mga magkakapatid, yung mga magkaaway, si Mark at si Steve, uh, tapos uh, mag, mag, magsasanig puwersa, tapos yung kalaban mo, hindi mo alam, kalahi mo, katugo mo. So all of those things, no, it's in one big pageantry. Uh, what was scary was, could we have pulled it off? Lalo may sa mga kapataan, you know, the, the kids these days, their level is Marvel, Star Wars, uh, Pacific Rim, you know, could we have pulled it off? You know, I just had the audacity of ignorance 2014 when I did a pitch tape with the help of Jay Santiago uh, of Riot, and I said, Jay, kaya ba to? And surprisingly, it was serendipity because Riot's dream project was Voltus 5. So it was just, you know, uh, we worked together in uh, Encantaja uh, and several other projects. So nung nabuo yung, yung, yung sa, may mutual ano kami, dream na gawa ang Voltus 5, we develop a pitch tape, we present it to Toei uh, to tell his success and to GMA and then we present it to Toei. Uh, back then, that was 2014, I was kidding at Jay, no? Iba pa yung technology noon, pero ang ganda na lumabas ng pitch tape for GMA and for Japan to approve the level of the robot then, the graphics, was very, ano, uh, was very impressive already. But then it took, wow, uh, that was 2014, so nine years took nine years for this to be developed. Then in came, uh, thank you. Then in came the pandemic. So all these, all these, uh, all these problems, you know, was was part of this whole legacy of the production of Voltus Five. Pero you know, uh, I guess the proof is in the pudding, as they say. And you saw the, I, this is the first time I saw the AVP, mm -hmm. no? So I was very impressed that they were, because uh, I was on vacation. So they did it on their, Sila Miselid was the one behind that. So I didn't do, have, have nothing to do with the AVP. So I was very impressed. And at least you could see the culmination of all, basically of the whole series on the level and standard that we really tried to maintain. You know, na ubus tan dugu sa mga producers ko kasi, you know, budget palang, and then uh, with the pandemic, you know, we had to stretch. I think it's safe to say, even if I get fired, that. Uh, we added so much uh, shooting days, taping days to Voltus 5 Legacy. That's how adamant GMA was na, no, hindi natin to titiperen. Sorry. Hindi natin to, you know, we will give it the best because uh, the project deserves that, you know, and calling it as a, uh, as a legacy project, it has to, you know, it has to show. It has to be uh, revered and emulated and hopefully liked by you people. Uh, and then, so, hindi po yun, no? Uh, okay, na, okay na sa series. Then, Miss Annette Gozon had this brilliant, crazy idea and said, you know what, why don't we show it in the cinema? So, it's a totally, it's another project, the cinematic experience, uh, that we're doing this 
besides the series, we have a cinematic experience to promote Voltus 5 is because like you now, you saw the Bozanian skull ship in its massive uh, entirety and you see Voltus 5, you know, you'll never get that on television or on your tablet or on your phone. That's why we, GMA decided, panoorin nyo to kung gusto nyo, hindi namin sila sabi na, na pinipilit namin kayo, pero iba yung experience ng cinema na 5.1, uh, it's round sound, no? I'm not allowed to say 5.1 because 5.1 is dated na. It's round sound. You see it on the big screen. You see you see Voltus 5 in you know in a very big scale instead of just watching it on television. Uh, you have that choice. So you're lucky that you will get you'll be able to see what it's all about. You know, but the cinema experience is just two hours of the 80 episodes that you will see on television. So, wag yung expect na ay pag ano pinanood namin ng cinema din ako marito tip. Ang dami pa, ang dami yung papapanor, ang dami pang revelation. Uh, out of 16 beast fighters, dalawa lang makikita niyo sa cinema experience. So, yon. Uh, sorry I got emotional because uh, the rush of emotions from way back on how this thing came to be is, is really something for me, you know. It's, it's it's it has been a vision quest to do this, you know, and then sila Miss Lilibet, Miss Reggie Magdo, Miss Cheryl, she, they really fought for the project. Uh, and then, uh, si LGM of marketing also, Miss Lizette also fought for it. I was in the board uh, presenting this to FLG, and you know, everyone backed up the project, and FLG could all, FLG could say was, uh, Direct Marquez, congratulations, no one has ever had it easy in this boardroom. Put uh, Voltus 5 on the board. Congratulations, Paul. We can uh, really see the fulfillment that um, the project has given you. Um, sinabi mo kanina sa AVP that it is an all Filipino production. So besides this huge cast that we have here, ganong pa po karaming Pilipinong talent ang uh, nasa likod po ng Voltus 5 Legacy? You know, uh, the, the GMA Video Graphics team alone, uh, uh, can anybody answer how many people is behind that? That's... 60 and then 250 sorry 250 on video graphics on jma side alone riot j how many that's another i know another 100 artists and people no? so when you see the graphics of marvel or star wars and you see that very long graphics ganun po ang voltus 5 legacy ganun kadami rin ang nagtatrabaho sa behind the camera and then we had like uh, 200 people on the set with staff and crew, uh, and this was done in. Natatawa ako na we were editing and we were having coming up with materials from 2021, 2022, 2023. Three years in the making po in actual production, but that's how big and proudly 100% Filipino made. That's you know that's that's what we're really proud of, from costume to visual effects to everything. Thank you so much, Ms. Tessa, for that question. And congratulations once again, Direct Mark, and to everyone who brought that.